from the hollers and hills of West Virginia, it's Heavenly Hills Homestead with another episode. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, uh, as you can look into the forest here, got our beans growing, looking good. Snail vine is what they really are. Uh, looking good, I'm very happy. Um, these, not growing so tall, so fast. <clears throat> Them over there, poof. these, yeah, oh yeah. We're getting there. I'm gonna start cutting some of these limbs off. That one there's got a huge, I think I could, I think that one right there, I'm gonna be able to prop up and get it to, to grow, grow, grow. So we'll see. Anyhow, just checking on, wow. Just checking on pumpkin sizes. <laughs> uh huh. This one should be good to go. Oh yeah, she took, uh, so. Oh, that one over there too. Whew. Goodness, I don't know which one I'll keep. We gotta get out here and work on this guy. So, at some point, not right now. But anyhow, we got three pumpkins on it. One of them look really nice. But I know if I keep it, it ain't gonna do no good right there. But it's growing good. I like it, it's pretty. You have to cut it off though, sadly. So, anyhow, let's, uh, let's go back here and look at the rest of them. All right, let's check on This can back here. I'll make sure the uh hmm. I'm not really sure what to make of that. Maybe it's young, I don't know. Keep on spraying. Here's what we do. We spray. Let it sit for two minutes and then we'll pat it dry. She's a big girl though, I mean look at her, she's definitely, whew, man, definitely big. 
Mm -hmm. Brick house, as they might say. All right, I'll set that 24 ounce bottle there on top of her. <laughs> For reference. There's a box fan. There's the pumpkin. So. <laughs> see get her all uh, going up here I'm going to have to take and remove some of these vines possibly if she makes it and uh, these vines are going to have to go grow somewhere else mm -hmm. I just all of a sudden decided they was going to Tertiary needs to go down amongst them. Mm, there's a tertiary too. I guess I'm about to get in there and cut the pruning. Man, I got them coming out the fence again. Good night, eleven. <clears throat> got giant pumpkins and stuff. Uh, it's a uh, it's always an adventure. At 1673 and a half Bartimus over there looking pretty good. That's not the one I'm gonna grow. I'm gonna grow a different one. And uh, this pumpkin up here, I don't think it's growing. I don't think it's gonna grow at all. I think it's, I think something's wrong with it. <clears throat> See that? Either that or the other pumpkin's just absorbing so much that that ain't getting nothing. I, mean, I guess it could be. It'd be very odd. Plant looks great, too. Plant looks strong, healthy. It's really good. All of them look really good, actually. They're just chugging right along no other issues with this thing other than beautiful white pumpkin I mean I just love her I love her love her love her shape love her color just hope she don't die that'll heal up Okay. Had her dry now. Hope she heals. She may or may not. Okay. Let's see what the big one's doing today. She's a brick house. Whew. Lordy be. She's almost as big as this piece of stuff I got down here. She ain't got much room to grow. <coughs> Excuse me, before she's into this stump cover. Whew. Mines are loose. Stem looks good. <coughs> Stem looks good. Tell you what, man, she's packing on the pounds, packing on the pounds. Looking good, looking good. I'm going to give them fertilizer this evening. <clears throat> give them, give them, give them. Grow, grow, grow. All right, let's go on to the next. This is the 1378 new. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good, all right.
here in just a second. Let me go get a knife. Okay, guys. 1251 new. <clears throat> Looks really good. Really, really good. Got to get in here and put some pool noodle stuff on her. But overall, she's looking wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's see how that stem looks down there. Pretty good to me. Get my head down there a little bit more. A little split right there, but at the least, it's all right. Looks good. She's a big girl, very big. Oh, yeah, she's gonna be a nice one, too. All right, let's uh, I got some in here that I need to cut off. Got some on all these plants I need to cut off. All right, well, let's get that taken care of. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> See, I'm give these chickens up here some. Go down there by yourself. Monk here, bear. Now, where are these? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. 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 All right, guys, let's get this uh, tomato plant straightened up here a little bit. I said, stop, Pink. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you just said. Yeah. Cut yeah. some limbs off here. Yeah, I like can I not do it? Not this yet. No, I'm I'm too little. Yeah. Too little. Yeah, I don't have any big things. We'll keep that one. Try to turn it into something. Keep that one. It's hot in here. It's hot in this one. Yeah, it's very hot in that greenhouse. And that one, cut these off. It does not have that much chair. Completely. Don't, 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 don't. Those are going to be our new baby ones that we're going to try to take and make out of, make into something. I want to show them that. They can see it. Really can like they see those. pretty good? Those don't look very well. Cut that one off. I can't, it's, it's too big. Okie doke. I must get it. Dad can must get it. Yeah. But they right. can't see it. It's all right, sit them down there and then we'll go put them all in water, okay? Water? Yeah, we'll go to water them in just a minute. Okay. Ugh. I want to put it in. Hmm? I can put it in. And this is really dirty. Ready? Mm hmm. Uh, I can't do it. Yeah. I didn't think so. What is that? Mm hmm. What is dirt. That? It's cow poop. It's cow poop. It's cow poop? Yep. That's what that really is, is cow poop. Don't get some on your fingers. Yeah. Pretty bad, wasn't it? Yeah. I got it all over my fingers. What are we going to do? I'm going to touch you. Hey, Capu. Yeah, wait. You wash your, you wash your hands in one second, okay? Okay. That'll be a good plan. All right. There's a rock in my Capu. Bag on it. Uh, get that out. Get that out. Yeah, get it Where'd out. Where'd that blame come from? I guess that's that one right there. Yeah, get that rock out. No, we'll leave it there. Yeah, it needs to be cleaned. Okay, here. You can clean it. Okay, we'll just leave it right there, okay? Yeah, let me wash it. All right, let's see here. Now, uh, let me go get some stuff to fix this up, and I'll show you what we're going to do with that. Okay. We're going to need a drill. We're going to need a hole saw. A drill bit and a utility knife. And then what you're gonna do? First things first. Can we show the scratch again? Yeah, they'll see it in a second. Take your hole saw, get as close to center as you can. Drill it out. Okay. Once you, got, once you got that done, take your drill bit, drill you some holes in here. These holes will serve two purposes. Uh, one, they'll allow drainage for your water. Two, they'll allow roots to come down out of here and grow up here in the top of this, okay? Um, this hole right here is just so you can get your stem through. Now, it'll also have roots and stuff come through too, but you know, it, and, and allow drainage, but you need the rest of them as well. And it probably wouldn't hurt if you did that outside of the pot. <laughs> Seeing as how you're gonna be putting plastic shavings all up in it, probably, probably don't want that.
Hi. Now you can use as big a hole saw as you want, and you can use as big as a drill bit as you want, and you can put as many holes in the bottom of that as you want. If that ain't enough drainage holes for you, then put some more in there. That should be plenty for me. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to find the weakest part, which on this coffee can is usually right here. I'm going to come through, and I'm going yeah. to connect that this slice to that hole so I can slip this around this plant. Wait, baby. I won't get my booty on there because I don't know how. I don't know, I don't know how to get my big booty on that. The big Your big booty Judy don't know how to get up on that thing? No. Well, I don't it's know. Swing. <laughs> it's swing. Okay, well, we'll have to figure it out. Your, your brother or your mommy can't help you? No. Okay. Well. Are you going to help me in a second? In a minute when I get done with this. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we got that cut. It'll slip right over. All right. So you can take and dump. You know, I'll just dump this dirt out real quick. That wasn't. That was just some dirt I had in a pet pot already. Alright, now, take it, gently place it over like so, and then put your dirt in. You can take this if you want. I'm probably going to drill a couple holes in it and take zip ties and run through it. Let me go get that and I'll show you what we're talking about. All right. Drill bit and zip ties. Yeah, you should do this before you fill it with dirt. <laughs> Got ahead of myself, wasn't really thinking. That happens quite a bit. Get ahead of myself. All that's going to do is just help yeah. keep dirt in, you know, from, keep it from leaking out and so bad.
And like I say, you can use zip ties or you can uh, tie it. Doesn't matter. Cut your zip ties off. Now, now you can feel it. <laughs> yeah. Got a black cow here. The other dirt I have is what I had left in this pot from the from the, uh, the happy frog stuff that I had at the beginning of the year. Really like that stuff. Just nobody carries it around here constantly. They get it like once a year and then that's it. And then they won't keep it in stock. And uh, I'm not paying 30 some more dollars a bag again when it's in the stores for 20 some when it is here. So there it is. That is another potted up tomato plant. It's how you, now you could have got a, if I would have had another pot that wasn't already being used, <clears throat> I could have got it that would have been about the same size as this pot. It would have fit inside of there and I could have did the exact same thing, okay? Now, you're gonna to wanna to try to get that over as best you can. So I'm gonna to have to probably put some dirt or something around this to try to try to keep it pushed over some. But anyhow, um, you can, like I say, you can use a pot that fits inside of this pot and step it up. And then as this tomato plant grows, just keep terracing your uh, pots. Well, I've got plenty of coffee cans, so I'm just gonna keep using coffee cans this year. Um, but you get the idea, you know, if if I hadn't had this reaper growing in this pot, I would've took this pot and set it in there, with, you know, and had the tomato growing in it. And stepped it up that way. So uh, anyhow, you get the idea. What it does is it's, the reason why you wanna do this is it's providing more roots, okay? And uh, for those of you that wanna grow, um, you know, out like in the city or something, you don't have a real uh, good place to grow or you gotta worry about the deer, but you wanna grow a competition tomato plant, this allows you to grow that competition tomato plant uh, in, the, in the safeties of a pot. And that way you can put the pot wherever you need to, uh, to keep it, you know, either safe from deer or safe from the kids or uh you know say you only got a, a a back little stoop to step out on you know a balcony um so if that's all you got you can set it out there and grow out there if you're living in the city in a condo or apartment and uh and this is a great way to do it uh, again if i would have had a pot readily available today and wouldn't have had to go to the store to get one i would have uh you know used the pot like i said like that reaper's growing in and i would have stepped it up to a pot that would have fit perfectly inside of there or close to it and then just kept doing it that way but seeing as how i didn't have it and didn't feel like going to the store to buy it i have plenty of coffee cans saved over and uh, we'll just use coffee cans and, and it doesn't matter because all you're doing is you're wanting to get the plant to throw more roots okay and have more roots and more uh area for water and uh, minerals okay uh, the 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 food that feeds the plants your mpks your micro and macronutrients all right so lastly what we'll do is we will give this some orca mycorrhiza and we'll put it in the top and in the bottom again all right and then we'll also feed it some good fertilizers and some root stimulators to get those roots up there uh started okay and they'll trust me by the end of the week that thing will have had roots and would have started growing uh, and, and using those roots, okay? Don't forget to put holes in the bottom for the drainage and so your roots can go through those holes and into the dirt below because that whole top surface there, there's like two inches on that top surface uh, in that yellow pot that has nothing growing in it. And, and uh, you know, it'll throw roots as well, but the roots that come out of the coffee can can also spread out on that. Plus you got another inch or inch and a half there that you could fill up with more dirt and, uh, and and just help it that way. So anyhow, uh, that's how we're gonna do this particular tomato plant. We're gonna put these uh, sucker vines that we cut off of it into the water and try to get them to throw some roots and uh, get, that, get that going. Um, I will show you some video footage of a well bucket for those of you who 
uh, don't know what a well bucket is or you have a well or you think you have a well and you have it's a cylinder and you know and like I have and you're wanting to get the water out of it and the only way that you can get it out is by hand for right now uh, I'll show you how to build that bucket I got the video I had to go and copy the video off of uh, Facebook from last year when I posted it on Facebook so you know it, it might not be the best of quality but you will be able to tell what I'm doing and how to build it okay um, what I done is uh, you'll see that this was a, a I had a well bucket that I built and it lasted for about two weeks and then I broke it on accident so the one that I build today is a better version still run, still works nothing wrong with it um, and uh, it's just a better upgraded version and probably should be how you build yours okay now you don't have to build it that way but you probably should all right so that'll be next and then we're gonna get out here in the garden and we're gonna trim these uh, plants up and everything and get them fed and and all the good stuff that they need to keep the bugs and the and the uh, viruses away all right guys welcome 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 what we have here is a well bucket and you're thinking there ain't no bucket uh, well we're going to show you i made this it's uh out of a four inch sewer pipe and uh on the end here as you can see we have busted it open now this was thin wall sewer pipe four inch thin wall and uh we'll get into all this in a minute but what was happening was is my well is about 75 foot deep so i was dropping this in there by hand so far and then i would just let go of the rope <clears throat> and stop it with my foot and i guess it smacked the bottom a bit too hard on that thin wall and uh and busted it open so we're going to redo it now i have an option here i can just go ahead and drill this back out with my center cap, put the holes all back around it, and put my flat back in it, <clears throat> and let it work. Or I can go this route. Glue this four inch cap, thin wall, into this four inch thick wall, round nose, and hopefully get a little bit more support and, and strength, durability. Um, and then just glue the glue it on the end of the pipe. So we're going to try this one out first and give it a shot, but uh, first we've got to cut off this end right here. So let me get to it and then uh, we'll go on from there. All right, so now we've cut the end off and we've cleaned it up. We got our broken piece off here. We got our flap out. The flap is just a piece of good rubber, you know, about a 30 couple let's see probably about a 16th thick I would say <clears throat> you don't want to drill your hole in the center you're going to want to find the center of this and get your hole drilled in with just a little bit larger of the bolt than what you're using this bit is 25 60 fourths and this is a 5 16th carriage bolt two washers one nut okay that 5 16 carriage bolt is two inches long you're going to need these fender washers two of them and then just a nut all right so the next step is going to be gluing this inside of there okay oh there ain't no holes drilled in there well i'm going to show you what to do with that once we get this glued in there we have our center okay now that once it gets in there is going to be centered up in the center of this we'll drill through with the same size bit and then we'll lay out our holes and drill through on the inside all the way through both pieces for our water outlets and then we'll assemble it with our flapper and our bolts and washer okay but you will need to get some of this That's for gluing this inside of it and then gluing it on to the end of your well bucket. So let me get that done and I'll show you the I'll show you what it looks like when we get to the next step. Okay. 
So now <clears throat> it's the glue has dried. Uh, so what I've done is, as you can see, I've done drilled the center hole out. I've went all the way through. Now you're just going to have to drill your, your water holes, okay? And if you were to split this down the middle and across it again, drawing a cross here in there, okay? You're going to want one dead center there and here and one there and there. And then you can put one in each quadrant, okay? So that's a total of eight holes. Now, you can vaguely see this one had one, two, three, four, five, six. Six holes in it. I'm, these, these were big. These were bigger holes. This time I'm gonna go with a smaller bit, okay? And I'm gonna use a 25 bit. Let me see. This one was a, uh, can't read it. Anyways, this one was the size for the 5 16ths, not the, not that 25 64 So anyhow, we're going to use this one. We're going to go through it and make eight holes smaller. As you can see, it's much, much smaller than that diameter. So we're going to use this one to make eight holes. And we'll see you when we're done. Okay, now that you got that part done, all the holes are drilled. I ended up putting just six. <clears throat> um, but once you get that done, start assembling. Put your nut through there, which is, this one is a two inch. Um, just using the old one off of the one, I probably should have bought a uh, two and a half. Put your washer, put your flat, put your other washer, and then your nut. Then get you some water, a bucket of water, and go try it out. You don't want it too tight, because if you're too tight, as you can see, it won't move. So you want it just tight enough that it can move up and down. See how that is now down? It needs to move a little bit. Now the water pressure when you pull up is gonna suck that gasket down and, and keep it down against it so you lose very little water. So let's find some water and I'll try it out and then I'll glue it up to the end of my pipe and we'll be ready to try. Okay, so now we're gonna go test it out. We're set up ready to go as you can see it's glued on this extreme temperature it should be good to go it'll have a couple more minutes as I go over a few things with you um, on what you need to do about this and this type of a well and why you're wondering why my bucket looks like this instead of a normal bucket so we're gonna go over that real quick So that is my well, okay? Now, what I've done to figure out the depth of this well is I took a 100 foot rope, I bought 100 foot, okay? That way I knew it was 100 foot from the store. I tied a rock onto it, and I lowered it down, okay? And I lowered it all the way till I touched the bottom of the well. Then what I done is I took a permanent ink marker, I pulled the slack out of the rope, and okay, and the, until I could feel the weight of the rock, and then I marked the top of the rope to the top of the well, and uh, with a magic or a permanent ink marker, I raised it up out of the well, I stretched it out, and I measured, I measured the rope. Okay, and I got um, 75 foot to the bottom of the well. Uh, then I measured the, what was wet from the rope, and that was 25 foot. So I have 25 foot of water 
in that well. So it's probably a good a safe bet to say that the well was, the casing is 50 foot deep and then somewhere around there it struck water and the water vein is 25 foot. So the reason why that this uh, bucket is cylindrical is because there's no way to get a bucket down that hole, an actual bucket. Um, a lot of them are six inches. I believe that one right there is like eight or nine. I can't remember. I did measure it, but I can't remember. But as you can see, this is a four inch pipe that will lower down in here. And, um, and you will see, see how much clearance is there? On four inch, on a four inch thick wall. Okay, that's thick wall that's there on the tip. Now look how much there is there. Okay, so not only will that thick wall help it ride down straighter and pull up better, but it'll also give it that strength at the bottom. So let's lower it down. And all I did right there at the top to tie my rope to it, I put a long carriage bolt through there and tied my rope to it. That's all I done. Now if you're not careful, it will burn your hand. And when I go to raise this up, I will have to put the foam down. And just so you can see how much rope is going through my hands. there I just hit water look how much rope is left not a lot I'm gonna lower it down there just a bit let my bucket fill up and pull it up and show you what kind of water we're getting out of here it's pretty pretty water and it's filling up pretty quick or I feel it Make sure no bees or nothing to build a nest in here. Oh yeah, we're, I believe we're full. Oh yeah, definitely full. Here we go. She's holding good too. Yep, it did just as good. All right. Y'all see me? I want y'all to see this water as it gets poured into this bucket here. I want you to look how clean this water is. Can y'all see how clean that is? Clean, clean water. Nothing wrong with that at all. So, if you don't have, if you find one of these on your property, you have a well. Get you some rope, check the depth and uh, everything, and then make you a well bucket that will fit down it and you can use your water now eventually I will put a pump in this a deep well pump and I will use it for things in the house at that depth at 25 foot or I mean at, at 75 foot the water is going to be well um, filtered out and everything so I will get the water tested but you can use this for just say you took and used it for your bath water I mean, not your bath water, but your uh, your toilet water and your laundry. You know how much money you would save a year just using this water right here for your laundry and your toilet? Not to mention if you want to drink it or use it for your... I mean, you could pretty much go off of, off of the household water um, that you're paying for every month. That's hundreds of dollars. So, 
I hope it helped somebody. Got a pumpkin pulled off the 824 Hodge. Told y'all a couple days ago it wasn't growing and it's aborted itself. So there it is. We cut it off. I'm gonna go take a look at some other ones and stuff. Let's figure out what we gotta do to get that plant going and doing what we want. Let's go check on this plant. I've uh, sprayed it twice today with our bleach solution. Talked to Chris Rodeball today after I sent him some video clips of it. He said, don't look too awful bad to him, so hopefully it'll make it. She's a big, pretty girl, and I'm pretty fond of her so far. So let's take a look. She's a wide girl. I mean, she's got wide, wide hips. Mike Schmidt grew a good one when he put this one together. And uh, I'm liking it, liking it, liking it, liking it. So she's, she's looking good back there. Look there. Looks pretty good to me. Drying up, got the fan on her. So we're good to go. I've, I've got to figure out how to pull them, pull them uh, back, what they call it. I've done removed the root back to there. I'm not removing no more. So we got to figure out how to loosen these up. I have to talk to some people, but anyhow, we've got it done right there. Hopefully it'll heal up pretty good and make a good joint and start start filling her up full of full of good stuff to make an awesome pumpkin. I was going to uh, I was going to fertilize today, but I think I, I think I ain't going to right now. I ain't feeling so hot, and uh, been out here for a good while. I think what I'm going to do is uh, go in, cook some frog legs, show y'all how to cook some frog legs, and then we're going to call it a night. So let's take a real quick gander around there. Where else you can see right there? 1673 and a half Bartimus growing right there looking pretty good uh bad position got another one growing right there see tip of my finger and then uh there's two 824s growing and another one that i'm getting ready to pollinate I'm not sure which one of those i'll keep i may keep all 824s i don't know i've been pollinating with the 824 uh, to keep those genetics so i may i may keep uh may keep all three who knows anyhow the uh and 1673 and a half Bartimus right there. Uh, we pollinated that with the uh, 1251 new and uh, at just like we did the other one. So it's right there. Anyhow, uh, that one may end up probably will get called just because of position, unless I decide to go in there and trim out some stuff and, and uh, let the bushel gourd only grow on this side and then take the bushel gourd on this side off, um, which I may end up doing. I may take a big portion up here off from the bushel gourd you know like a box right there take that much of it off dead dead the uh, um, vines let these vines back in here continue to do their thing and prop that pumpkin up on a uh, on a piece of board I've not not come to that conclusion yet I don't know what I'm gonna do but I got that one right there and uh, we're gonna see what it's doing and see what we got so anyhow this one here on this uh 2261 schmidt my backup uh it's not looking so hot where's that that's right there i mean it's just not growing it should be growing it's not growing i'm probably gonna cut it and uh pollinate this one up here on the main which is right there so we may do that this week i don't know we'll have to stay tuned i think that one right there is probably gonna make it so i may not need it Anyhow, let's get off of here and find out what this one wants. What is that? Why did you? Oh. Jaden's big Mexican sour gherkin. 
I found it underneath those leaves well, there. We done ate a belly full of them, me and Kira did, so. Anyhow, let's go check on the rest of these pumpkins. That one there is too little to really worry about right now, but she'll be getting up there this week. Let's go over here and get inside where this 1209 Hodge is at and see what she's done today. <clears throat> let's reveal what we got going on. She's doing really good. I'm, I'm very, very happy with this pumpkin. Um, <clears throat> she's just... She's just something, folks. I mean, something. Look how close she's getting there. I probably should put like a a uh, um, time lapse thing on there. I might do that this evening. I might put a time lapse camera right here and see how quick she grows from there to there. So, because uh, that that's gonna have to be moved. I'm going to fix that. Um, man, alive. She's almost. She's almost as wide as a four foot board. She's already on this side over here. She's lacking. That much more. So probably eight inches or so before she's as, as wide as a four foot board. So that's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. That's a big old pumpkin. <laughs> All right, let's get off of here and go check out the other ones. And then check out the rest of the garden real quick. Okay, here we go. 1251 new. Let's see what she's done today. She is just a gorgeous pumpkin. Love the shape, love the blossom end. Love everything about her. I know you can't really see her too well, but I don't want to chop these leaves off just yet. She's she's a big old girl. I mean, you you can tell that's a that's a fairly big pumpkin. <laughs> so anyhow, she's looking good. I, I still need to put the stuff on her, and I ain't did it. I have to. I missed a pumpkin when I trimmed today. Look at that. Dag on it. I have to get back in there tomorrow and try to get it again. Try to find it again. I thought I found it, and I, I didn't. That's the problem. Once I get this big, man, it's such a chore trying to keep up with them, and it's 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 a lot. It's a lot, 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 lot. So anyhow, let's cover her back up and uh, get on with the program. Okay, so we got the sunflowers are looking pretty good. Uh, some of them's really big, and uh, nope, nope, don't you come in here. Don't you do it. Got to get in here tomorrow morning and straighten up a bunch of these gourds. No, Malachi, get out. So, got some issues going on here. They're way, way, way. They're wanting to grow everywhere but up. And that's the way they should have grown. And they're trying to grow everywhere but up, which is aggravating. They've got plenty of there to grow up on. So I don't know what their deal is, but I'm getting ready to start start trimming some vines and stuff because they're messing up my sunflowers. And they're bent the some the cages then got bent in. So we'll have to fix that. So I'm gonna have to push it back in, tie it off to some poles or something. I anchor it somehow. So they have to go in there. Quit that. Quit that. Get out. Go. No, quit that. Go on. Go on now. No. Get. I have to shoot you like a dog. Go on. No, I don't think my kids are dogs. So, just saying. They don't listen. You got to get on to them and get them out of here. That one there, he'll have everything. He'll have everything in here pulled and ripped and... and Talking to you like, hey, well, look what I did. <laughs> so, nope. This ain't a world record. I don't know what this is. There's my watermelon growing pretty quick. Here's. That's a big one. I'm finding Mexican those white sour gherkins bushes. all over and through there. 
I'm finding these way back in there. Watermelons are everywhere. Let's pull this one away from there. Pull this one away from there. Pull this one away from there. There we go. Get them all running on the black. <laughs> okay, come on. Careful. Good girl. Good girl. Hey, Kira, want to eat some Mexican sour gherkins with me? Um. Waiting on my kiwanas. I found a couple of them, but they're just about that big. Not not big enough to do nothing with. Let me see if I heard one right there. That's one of the kiwanas. Right there. It's also known as a uh, African spike cucumber. And they'll get pretty good size. And then uh, we'll be able to eat them. But uh, let me tell you something. Do not plant them in a garden. Plant them away from the garden somewhere where they can just climb and do they really need their own kind of trellis thing so anyhow here's my rich sweetness 132 melons got uh, several of them on here there's one two one two three four five six seven eight that i can see there's plenty more in there on the other side that I've seen, so we'll be getting getting some good melons. Let's go on ahead and pull up some cucumbers. And uh, can't wait for my other ones. They should be here this week. My, my ones that I ordered should be here this week, and we'll get them started. That way when these get ready to go bad and I have to pull them out, <laughs> don't you do it. See what I'm talking about? This is a market more... 76. Oh, I know he did. <laughs> right. Don't be doing it. Here, you hold that one. Thank you. Yep. And this is a dar. See, I had dar cucumbers, mix, uh, dar cucumber, market more 76 cucumber, the uh, Richmond green apple, and the uh, little Mexican sour gherkin. But uh, the uh, the Dar, the Mexican Sour Gherkin, and the Mark Moore 76 were the only ones that did any good. The, I planted the, the green apple one several times. Now, there might be a green apple one on the other side there that's growing. I think there probably is one or two over there growing, but I couldn't tell you for sure until I pick one of them off. Um, but when I planted them over here, they just they didn't do no good at all. And uh, so, yeah, you can see. We're getting some kind of disease or something, you know, on them. I don't know what it is. Need to get out here and spray them again. But every time I go to spray them, it gets it gets rainy, and then I have to wait, and it gets rainy again. So I just haven't been able to spray. But maybe tomorrow morning I'll be able to get there. Yep, don't pick them, don't pick them. Maybe tomorrow morning I'll be able to come out and spray these down uh, with uh, with some of my stuff that I got. So don't do it. Don't do it. And some bug spray. Probably need to get them with some spinicide again and, and some other stuff. I do know that I need to hit these cantaloupes. Something about cantaloupes here. Last year, this is what happened to my regular cantaloupes that I uh, grew. Here he is again with the French cantaloupes that I'm growing. If I can get four or five of these off of here, I guess I'll be happy. Um, you know, and then maybe I can try it again with the seeds that I got from them. Just plant, plant a couple seeds. Um, and uh, and stuff if not i'll have the seeds for next year so uh, you know we'll just try it again they really need their own melon patch i really the whole thing this year when i got sick i didn't get to till everything on time i was supposed to till this all up fence it all up and everything turn it into my garden like i did there was supposed to be no melons planted in here i was supposed to till that over there where the pumpkin patch is and make that my pumpkin patch now i was supposed to go up here in front of this building right there and that whole front section there was supposed to be my cantaloupes and my watermelon patches. All right. And that's where, every, but when I got sick, I barely got this put in and my pumpkin patch put in. So, you know, it is what it is. I got squash for time. I wanted to get stuff in the ground. And uh, now I'm kind of paying the price for it. But they get bad or whatever, just yank them up and uh, put something else in their place and yeah, or let the watermelon take over their area and it'll keep pressure off of the off of the uh, pepper plants. So it's whatever. Um, 
Got to put a cup on that one tonight. And uh, let's see, I think this one up here as well. Yeah. yeah, I don't know that it'll open tonight, but put a cup on it anyways tonight. So I'll come out and put a cup on that one, pollinate that one tomorrow, and I'll pollinate this one tomorrow. This is the ribbon vine, um, the ribbon vine plant that I grew out. It's a 1673 and a half Bartimus ribbon vine. I fixed it and we're growing good. There's the main, there's a secondary, and if there's a secondary, it, it's it's growing, it's doing good. It'll start throwing out more secondaries, you can see here, you know, but uh, as, it, as it grows, it'll put out the rest of them and stuff and do well. That's probably about 13, 12 to 13 foot out on the main and that one right there is on the first or second secondary that i've gotten that was worth a crap so yeah it's the second second secondary so anyhow yeah them's looking good I found over. Here. what it tastes like sour ain't it that's super sour tastes good though, the big ones it? yeah they're good though ain't they yeah. all right so here's uh here's the rest of uh of uh the pumpkin the pumpkin forest don't you do it don't you do it the rest of the pumpkin forest here. Here's the Kushaw. All right, they're looking pretty good. Got to get in there and pull some more of them back this way. Uh, the white, the full moons, okay? White boars and the blue, uh, the bayou, they're not blue bayous, they're uh, the Gerardales. Anyhow, the blue bayous, almost the same thing, just a little, uh, like a hybrid, I think. Anyhow, look what we got. 1378 new that we pulled up. Guess what? Pumpkin tomorrow will be pollinated right there. Look at it. She's going to open up tomorrow. We got to put a cup on her as well. See it? Getting ready to open. 1378 new. Um, who would have knew, right? Who would have Who would have thought that pumpkin would have produced anything? Not I. I got it. You got it. Um, and then we got another one right there. Um, I think, I think, I'm kind of torn. I think though what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pollinate the 1251 to the 1378. I think that's what we're gonna do. I was going to pollinate 1378 to 1378. I was just gonna take one of their one of his one of its flowers and pollinate it. Where I have the seeds carry over till next year. But I think what I'm gonna do, the genetics that I see from both of those pumpkins are awesome, and I think they would do well together. So I'm going to pollinate the 1251 new into the 1378 new right here on this one right here. And that's what we're going to grow. So, uh, anyhow, unless I've already done it, I have to go back and take a look. Uh, up here, so, little, little, little upset. I can deaden this vine right here right now and see, you know, it, it's not really putting out very many secondaries. Um, so anyhow uh, i could i go on ahead deadhead it right here call it call it you know game just well terminate the vine rather not deadhead it. anyways terminate the vine call it game for here let that one grow out see what it does and uh if it does any better use it if it doesn't then you know use this one right here which we are already but this is my this is my 727 hodge 50 foot 50 square foot plant okay well, we have exceeded 50 square foot now when that come out when that one came out we exceeded 50 square foot so i uh, don't know what to do i really like really like growing us so i might just say hey you know what uh let it do its thing i don't know yet i'm gonna have to think about it um pumpkin in there looks pretty nice this one right here might be even better um here's what i'm upset about yesterday when uh I was over here working and doing all the squash stuff and everything. I forgot one one major thing. I forgot to turn this vine on this side of the tree like it is now, and I left it. And the chickens reached through the fence and ate my leaves off. Yeah, they just they, you know they just can't they just can't quit. No matter how much I threw to them yesterday. I mean they had tons and tons and tons and tons of stuff they were to eat. They didn't. You know, so we're just going to go over here and nibble on that for a little bit, too. You greedy little things. So, anyhow. Um, yeah. So, they they messed it up. <clears throat> but, anyhow. Um, I guess I'll have to wait till the next one comes out, which is right there. 
and we'll get that one pollinated and everything. And hopefully by then these secondaries will be out running. We'll grow that one right there, I guess. And we'll just check on that one and see. We'll just have it for a backup or whatever. Um, but yeah, so we're getting serious about our butternut squashes now. We'll come out here and bury vines and stuff like that tomorrow or the next day. Um, but yeah, chickens did that. So electrical fence is gonna be on tonight and tomorrow all day. Y'all want to stick your heads through my stuff and eat my stuff? Well, we'll teach you the hard, hard lesson. Uh, you don't stick your head through the net. The net's there for a reason. It's a barrier, and you don't do that. So I'll turn it up full blast and let her rip, tater chip. Anyhow, we're going to go in here, cook some frog legs. I'll show you some footage of that. But we're going to go ahead and do the ending right now. So thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow right here in the Hollers and Hills of West Virginia. Okay, guys. What we're going to be doing, we got our flour, round red pepper. Yeah, take the lid off. Got our grease already heating up. I'm gonna put a little seasoned salt in here. Onion powder. I do not measure. And some garlic powder. I don't measure this stuff right here when I'm making it like a little quick thing. I usually can tell by how much flour I got how much of the rest of it I need. Okay. Now, need a little bit of black pepper. Parsley. Just a touch, chicken flavored bouillon. You want the powder. Get you a fork. Stir it well. The movie for tonight is Free Willy. The wife has never seen Free Willy. I was in here singing the Michael Jackson song to it. And she had never, never seen it. Oh, boy. I don't know why. It just come to my mind all of a sudden. This is how I think the frog legs is going to taste. Through the roof. Through the roof, huh? That gunshot was supposed to mean through the roof. Uh, close the sound Thank <laughs> you.
Don't forget to share. Thank you, good sir. You're welcome. And subscribe.